Hello everyone. This is Suzanne and God Crochet and Chatter. Oh, I am doing so much better. I'm home and all settled in. We were able to go out for a walk today. It was a little rough getting started, but oh, it was great to be outside on the trail again. I want to thank each and every one of you for your prayers. I know God answers our prayers and we had a lot of prayers going up for me and I'm so appreciative. And I got a beautiful card from Rebecca Bishop. I'm thinking of you today as I so often do and I'm wishing so much that you'll soon be feeling better. May God bless you and keep keep praying for you. And she gave me this really cute, it says be the light. It's a little um, uh, thing that I can put a chain on and wear. I really like that, Rebecca. Thank you so much for thinking about me and praying for me. And I got one more card here that I got from Joan Shoot. Sending many wishes to get you better and then hoping you'll soon be well and out of doors again. Look at that cute card. And she got me a little tie tack. And it has a cross on it. And it came with the bookmark, too. I'll put that to good use. And again, I want to thank you all so much for all your prayers. All right. Shall we get back in the saddle again? Wow. Whew. What a time we had this past couple weeks, huh? All right. We did finish up week 17. And this is going up on my wall. We're going to pick up where I left off. Because I believe it was two weeks ago, Monday, that I went into the hospital. So I thought this is perfect timing. We will be on week 18. And the reading is 2 Samuel 9 through 12. Now that was the last time I got on that I gave those scriptures. I have put this list in the drop down box below for this week. And... Um, so tomorrow, 2 Samuel 9 through 12, and I've got my lesson mostly prepared. It's going to be about David and Bathsheba. That's quite a story. All right, so we're on week 18. Congratulations, everyone. Well, I tell you, I didn't get zip crocheting done, but I'm starting to feel better. I think I'm going to pick up my crochet hook tonight. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Well, I, this is as far as I got. Um, you see, I haven't progressed much, much. The last time I was on, I said, oh, I'll have this done to show you tomorrow. Well, you know where tomorrow went in the hospital, right? But anyway, that's the back, and this is the front. So I think I'm going to work on this tomorrow and try to get that uh, finished up. And... Also, my water bottle carrier. I might work on this tonight. It's kind of easy. I'm just going back and forth making my strap. So, I think I'm going to try to finish this up tonight, maybe. So, I have to set that aside and have that ready to go. What else do I have to share with you? Oh, yes. I am going to do another giveaway. Now, Chris Knable. I'm so sorry I did not get your package out in the mail. I was ready to go to the post office, and everything happened. I ended up in the hospital, but I'm going to put that in the mail tomorrow. So hopefully this week you will get it. And again, I'm sorry for the delay on that one. All right. Today, I will tell you about today's giveaway. First of all, let's see. All right, let me show you these because these are really cute. I was on SD, and I had seen this, these towels, and this one says, some are great cooks, I sizzle with a crochet hook. Isn't that cute? Let me see if I got it all in there. And I'll be able to make two, because it's on the other side. Now, along with this, she includes a pattern, um, Copper for that looks like a little dress. It's so cute, but I didn't get I didn't get the pattern. She says she sent it by email while I was in a hospital. And I probably 
didn't notice it, didn't get to my emails. So I am asking her to resend that. And this one says, my cooking is fabulous. Even the smoke alarm cheers me on. And these are pretty nicely made uh, little towels here. So yeah, I'll be excited to do those up eventually. So I got those. And Hobby Lobby was having 30% off their I Love This Cotton yarn. This is probably my favorite crochet cotton to use. I use sugar and cream, and there's another popular one I can't think of. Um, they have sugar and cream, and peaches and cream. Those are my two main ones, but I was out of my premiere, and these were on sale for 30% off, so the, these were, Oh, let's see, a dollar something on sale. I got two of them for $5.30. So that would be $2.65 each. Okay. So that's not bad. Um, I got, let's see, I got this purple. I love this cotton. And this color is amethyst. I love this cotton. It's, it's softer, and it just makes up so pretty. And, of course, I had to get my bright green. Emerald is my birthstone, and I love emerald. I got two of those. And then I got two of this one. This is called print. Isn't that pretty? Kind of a little bit woodsy there. So I got two of those. And then I got I got one more purple. I got two of these. Look at this one. Ooh, I got a dishcloth pattern in mind for this. I think it's gonna be so pretty. And this one is called print. I think I said that. Alright, pink, green, and purple print. I just thought that was so pretty. I thought, ooh, that's nice. So yes, that was what I got. And so my husband, I says, look at the nice welcome home from the hospital present you got me, honey. He said, I did. <laughs> I said, oh, yeah, you were very generous, too. <laughs> Anything to get yarn, right? Oh, my goodness. So I'm looking forward to working with this again. Um, I think I used my last skein of it up, and I've been wanting to get it. But And being on sale, I thought, mm, okay, I'll grab that. All right, um, giveaway time. Now, this is going to be for the 4th of July. I know today, I think, is like the 27th of June. So, on July 4th, I will be picking a winner. I know it's coming up fast, right? And you will receive the scrubby, the, there we go, the dish rag, and the towel topper, Faith, Family, Freedom. See that there? I think this turned out so cute. There's the top. So, you must be 18 years old to enter. You must be a subscriber. Please hit the like button and share it if you'd like. And on July fifth, I will draw a winner. I'll make myself a note here. Alright, so on July 5th, I will draw a winner of my 4th of July giveaway. I wanted to get it posted sooner, but, you know, I had to leave for a little bit, so I didn't get it up as early as I wanted to, but that's okay. We, we're going to have her up now. Alright, and in the comment section, I want you to tell me what your favorite color is. What is your favorite hands down color? And if you have a combination that you like to use like blue and yellow, green and black, whatever, you can do that too. So that's the question you have to answer. What is your favorite color? 
I will put all the rules in the drop down box below for you and just you know read through them it's it's the same same old again and uh, I will be drawing that winner on July 5th it starts today runs through July 4th and and on July 5th I will pick a winner for this beautiful set here and Chris I'm gonna win I think what I'm gonna do after we draw a winner here then I will ship this out and your pa your package and this package out at the same time. I won't have to make two trips out to the post office. All right, everyone. I think that's it for today. I know I was a little bit all over the place trying to get myself reacclimated again. I love each and every one of you. I've missed you all. I can't wait to get back to our studies. And I'm so thankful it started, you know, like right in sync. So that is really good too. So today's trivia, trivia question is, which Old Testament book and person's name was the Hebrew equivalent of Jesus? What Old Testament book and person's name was the Hebrew equivalent of Jesus? And I will give you that answer tomorrow. All right, everyone, this is Suzanne and God Crochet and Chatter. God bless each and every one of you. Lord willing, I will see you back tomorrow on God, Crochet, and Chatter. Bye, everyone.